In this demonstration, we will introduce an MXL Excel spreadsheet template that calculates a firm's weighted average cost of capital. It's a three-step process. In the first step, we need to define the firm's capital structure by listing its debt and equity accounts and determining the relative importance of each component. Secondly, we estimate the opportunity cost of each source of financing. These costs are equal to the investor's required rates of return after adjusting the cost of debt for the effects of taxes. In estimating these costs, we need to use the current market value of each source of financing. And then lastly, we calculate a weighted average of the cost of each source of financing. Let's take a look at the template in each of its components. Note the weighted average cost of capital formula at the top of the template displays the various weighted components of a firm's sources of financing. The first component is debt financing. To the left section of the template that calculates the after-tax yield of debt to maturity. Note the yellow highlighted areas of this section. These are the required elements of information that the template requires to calculate the after-tax yield. The first element, interest payment, is the dollar amount of interest paid on the debt per year. For example, a 7% $1,000 bond will pay $70 per year. The market price of the instrument will reflect the discount or premium currently reflected in the market prices. The template mark makes the calculation in two steps. First, it calculates the yield to maturity using the rate function in Excel. And then it calculates the yield net of the firm's tax rate. The second component of our formula calculates the preferred stockholders rate of return. Again, the rate must reflect market prices. In this case, the par value of the stock equals the current market price. There is no after-tax effect on stock. The third component calculates the common equity rate of return. This section reflects the amount of dividends paid on the common stock based on the latest dividend payment and estimated growth of, future, of the rate in future years. Now once the three calculations are completed and we have the after tax yield and rates of return that are computed for the stock the template then calculates the weighted average of the three components in proportion to the relative components of the firm's capital structure. For example, common stock is 50% of the debt and equity and therefore the 10.73% common equity rate of return gets a 50% weight in the formula. In the example shown here, the firm's weighted average cost of capital at 8.17%. This is considered the hurdle rate that the firm will use to assess any potential investment opportunities. 